thinking about self-publishing and don't know where to start, join the Spa Girls each week for 30 minutes minutes of advice, (laughs) tips and resources. I'm Wendy Bella and I'm here today with Shah Barrett. Hello from the dark. (laughs) And (laughs) Chef Rocks. Hi there. And our lovely Trudy J is... Swanning off, swanning somewhere. around in the yeah. snow, apres skiing is, with cocktails. They, you know, it? what's the big one? The mogul is that the big? Yeah, giant? doing the doing the Grand Slalom, slalom, mo, slalom yeah, mogul. That's the yeah. one on we the beginner comes, slopes. But yeah, you know. we hope she comes back to us in one piece. But yeah. well, I think she's probably sitting in front of a big roaring fire drinking a martini. Personally, mate. but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> is martini a cold winter drink? I think it's more like hot sure. chocolate or something. Yeah. Or maybe mulled wine. Mulled or, wine would be nice. Ooh, or maybe hot chocolate. Maybe a special coffee with it, or a smidgen of Bailey's. Or, but our Trudels um, is not a huge hot drink girl, so no, who knows? she's not. All right, let's get back on track. On track. Because we've only just started. We don't <laughs> want to be off straight away. Um, so what we wanted to talk to you today about is word count. 50 shades of word count, is it? I think well, it's kind of like 50 shades of writing, isn't 50 it? 50 shades yeah. of writing. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. conventional wisdom tells us that bigger is better um but is that really true so in this episode we're going to discuss what the different word counts are and book sizes and how they mean for successful publishers today uh how you can use different sizes to your advantages and how to how to find that sweet spot Mm -hmm. um the right size isn't a black and white thing in fact there's 50 shades of writing size to embrace so how Mm -hmm. about that yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's bigger, we're... really better. Yes. Basically. And we are talking yeah. about um, the sizes of books pertaining to different genres. Yes. Yes. So, so yes. Shah, do you want to kick this off? Sure. So, excuse me turning around if you're watching on video because I've got my double screen going on here. So, mm-hmm. um, so just I wanted to go over a couple of so rules. So, we're always a bit nervous about using the terminology yeah. rules, but there's some guidelines and they're usually mm. used for writing competitions Um, and so I just wanted to go over what Romance Writers of America and Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America, what they define as a novel and a a novella etc. So for RWA, for Romance, they define a novella as between 20,000 to 40,000 words and a novel as a work of fiction of 40,000 words plus, as determined by computer word count, not the um, old-fashioned, you know, Page count. 150 page. words yeah. per page. Remember that mm. one? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the sfwa.org, Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America, they have got a short story as less than seven and a half thousand words. And they, they've got this weird little name called a novelette, which just seems, you know, really anyway. odd sounding. It does seem a little odd, but anyway, novelette is seven and a half thousand words, but less than seventeen and a half thousand words. Mm. Their novellas are seventeen and a half thousand words to forty thousand words. So their novellas are, can be shorter than the Romance Writers of America's term. And they again, their novel is forty thousand words or more plus. So so when somebody's talking novella these days, they generally mean 20,000 to 40,000. Because we're in the romance writing community, we tend to, you know, most of us have kind of grown up through using that um, definition of, of yeah. what, how long things are. So yeah. there we go. Um, and yeah, so I just start with there, basically. Yeah, but so we've all been writing a long time and we've been mm-hmm. around the, the traps for quite a long time. And I don't mean we're old. We started when we were like 10. So well, we're clearly we're only 21. Age, we you know? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your take on word count? I mean, I know when we very first started, I was very strict on word count when I was in yes. submissions yeah. and I was sending yeah. off manuscripts to editors to be rejected, you know. Um, <laughs> well, I, was, <laughs> I, I, I was very much aware that, you know, I needed to be within this 55,000 to 65 yes. or whatever yeah. a thing. But for me personally, I found that as, as time has gone on, I, I change and adjust my word counts all the time. Mm. I was writing longer over the last few years, 80, 85. I'm now back down to 70, 75. I have not noticed that readers have noticed. I was going to say, have you, have your no, readers noticed? I have, no one has noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and there has been no issues with any of that. So uh, for me, the book length is determined by the story. Yeah, And I know that sounds yeah. odd, mm. but sometimes the book is just done and sometimes mm. the book's not done. And, and if, you, if you're going to try and eke it out to, you know, from a 75K to 85K, yeah. then 
are those 10,000 words good words? You know, are they are they yeah. moving the story forward or, or is it, dare I say it, padding, you yeah. know? So and I, think I think you need to look at that. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is you can tell it, and I've read many books that are really great stories and they can be the shorter word count, but they yeah. don't feel like a short book, you know? Exactly. Whereas, so it's, yeah. it's, 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 yeah, it's really, I guess what we're trying to convey in here is it's, it's got to serve the story. And I would mm. also say serve what you're trying to do with it mm. as opposed well, to and what you think you're going to do with it. You know, if yeah. you're going to, if you're going to write a novella and you want to have a book by bad, well, that's not going to work. No. Yeah, so just so just for that, I just quickly looked at BookBub's rule. Mm-hmm. So this is for a featured BookBub deal, the ones where they, you know, very expensive, but yeah. they can be kind of career makers. So a full-length book, this is BookBub's definition, is a novels and collections of short stories or novellas should be at least 150 pages in length. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Works of non-fiction, at least 100. We're not going to go into that. So they do not feature standalone novellas or short stories. So if you want a mm-hmm. BookBub, bottom line is yeah. what your – submitting has to be 150 pages mm-hmm. or more that's the mm-hmm. print version mm-hmm. uh, of your ebook mm-hmm. and, and and if you want to just touch on bookbub you know it is hard to get yeah um and it, it but it is a game changer in a lot of ways but there are other ways to make it without yeah. BookBub. well but, you had mm-hmm. you had your uh, lords of night street series didn't you that yeah. you boxed to, yeah. to apply for a book, Bob. Because... And that's what I was going to say. That's what she does. You know, like she's yeah. written a few novellas in her time, haven't mm. you, Cher? And then you've boxed mm. them and then all of a sudden you can get a book, Bob. Mm. Or not. <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 you, can you can apply. apply. <laughs> you can apply, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. So I, mean, I think the thing about it is this, I've read a lot of stories that just waffle. Yeah, and there is a lot of um, backstory, just big d- info mm. dumps of backstory. Some people just naturally write shorter, and some people just naturally write longer. And I well, and I really too. believe that mm-hmm. you know that's your yeah. writing style. Um, and and I've been to so many conferences as has, has have we all, where people have talked about, oh, I just can't get my word count. Uh, well, if that's your jam, yeah, yeah, I, I think that in this day and age, it's not such a big deal. I don't think so either. I really, really don't. And I think um, like we were talking. I mentioned right at the beginning about it being specific to genre there there is a huge scope in there as well I, I think um I have always believed since I started writing cozy mysteries a, a couple of years ago that anything uh from 45 to about 65 goes and yet I've just been reading online a, um, a woman with her first book who's a 35k mm. and I you know, I, I mean, if that's what it is, that's what it is. It, it's no two ways about that. But I'm thinking um, for Cozy Mysteries, which do uh, very, very well in Kindle Unlimited, you know, with the exclusive mm. um, to Amazon, um, you're looking at page reads there. So mm. a 35K novel is not, it's not really ideal mm-hmm. for that sort of thing. Of, of course, it, it's, it's totally possible to do really, really well in KU with a shorter book, but you know, I, I'm thinking that maybe a higher word count is more profitable, put it that way. Well, put it this way, you've got to find, for example, if you've got, say, Wendy's, one of Wendy's 70,000 word books, compared to a 35,000 word book, you've got to find two customers for yes. her book as opposed mm. to one for Wendy. So you kind of got to double your mm. double your people, which mm. is no small no. Um, but also you, you've got to sort of analyze, I think, as to why you're writing the book. Yes. Uh, and, and and we've talked about this a lot, you know, when so you first much, yeah. publish and get it up, get it up there. But yeah. as time goes on, you want to make a career out of it. So yeah. there's a couple of ways you can look at that. I, I think is that like she has just said, KU, page yeah. reads, mm-hmm. and then you've got to have the bigger books or mm-hmm. a lot more books to make the money. Yeah. Um, and then you've got to go and you've got to look at the print angle. So if you're going to put your 35k mm-hmm. word into print. It's going to That's be the size tiny, of a wafer, you know. You know? Um, so what are you going to do? Well, I, what you could do is you could write a short story or some mm. bonus stories and put them in the back and compile them all together and there's your book. Yeah, And that's great too. There's always options around everything. But I think you've got to be aware that if, you're, if your first book is only 35K, it's probably not going to get a huge read through, you know, and, and mm. things like that as time goes on. I mean, it, it's about... It's about the career choice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and also exactly. it's about the 
and it's not even just as broad as um, romance or science fiction. It's also about the subgenre of the romance as mm-hmm. well. As Cheryl said, mm-hmm. with mystery, cozy mysteries can be shorter. Whereas you've got some of those big in the mystery um, genre, some of those thrillers, they, they are big, chunky. They tend like, to be bigger, oh, don't they? 100K yeah. or, yeah. Now, you know, um, or more kind of yeah. thing. So uh, I guess it's looking on, and I mean, it can be a little tricky when you're starting out to look at Amazon and kind of figure out the word count, but you'll get you'll get a sense mm. of it all. Even if it hasn't got a print version, it will have um, page mm. count, I think, doesn't it? Still, mm. It does it my, on my screen at the moment, yeah. but who knows with Amazon, they change things all the time. <laughs> yeah. But kind of have a, have a look on there um, mm. in terms of just to get a feel if you're trying to mm. really write into that market, mm. get a feel for yeah. what's popular. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's, also, there's also a couple of other ways to look at it as well. Um, are you a really slow writer? Yes. Because then for you to write 35k however long that would take multiply that by two if you're looking for a 70k which I can't imagine writing 70k although some of my books are like 67 so that's a bit silly but um you know like if it's really going to take you too long and the story is complete at 35k then that's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned Mm. so so yeah that's absolutely fine but as Wendy was saying with bookbub about having so many pages for you to apply for that it's also the same for e-reader news today it has to be at least 125 pages right. so I kind of use those things as my benchmark for how um how little I write for a book so I don't want to make it too short mm. and I and I don't want to make it too long because that's going to take me too long to write so a complete story you know that will fit into any of those um parameters works for me yeah. So it might be different for you, but I think it's quite a good idea to, like Wendy said, to find out why you're writing that particular genre and, yeah. and how best to manipulate that or fit it into the mould of what your ex- expectations are. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, would you say as you write more, as you get more experience writing, that you can write more kind of thing? Would you agree with that? Or is that just one of those things? Absolutely. For me, with the Cozy Mysteries, I was looking at 50K because I'm thinking, Mm. well, that's that's so many books a year for me. And and actually, I could probably squeeze another one out. I try to write four books a year. I could legitimately squeeze another one out. And now these books, like they say, they just have a take a life of their own. And some of them are going up to about 67. It's like, that's not the point. But... (laughs) That's that's just how exactly. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. And and I think also it's a funny thing. I think your writing writing process adjusts and changes mm. as you you know you get into the book. And then when you're writing series, you've got to get more characters into the book. And you yes. know, and, and and like Cher and I write series, so so it's sort of mm. you have to do that. So I always my benchmark is get to get to 65 70k and then I edit and I'll quite often edit in, edit in 10,000 words or 5,000 yeah. words or something yeah. like that so that I know that's my process that's I hit for that 65 70k mm-hmm. and then from there the book mm-hmm. just grows into what it is um because I my first draft is usually a fairly skeletal thing you know yeah. um and that's how how I don't over overthink the word count to start with yeah interesting so you don't kind of start out when you're writing just with a night it's really just goes on the the idea the story and yeah. then yeah. you kind of figure it out from yeah. there okay. yeah because neither of us are big plotters unfortunately no, no. Like, Tr- Trudy's the one that kind of balances that out because she's a heavy plotter yeah but, um yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean for me I get to that I get to that 30k mark um, and then I just completely rewrite the book and that's mm. my plotting and then I get ah, to, you know, so, <clears throat> so, so, I, so you kind of do, it's kind of like an outline, isn't it? And then, yeah, I just write the bones to 30 and I'm just yeah. like wading through mud knee deep up to mud <laughs> with like, you know, rain yeah. pouring down on top of mm. me and, you know, stuff yeah. like that. And then I get mm. to that 30 mark and then I'll rework and then I'll probably pretty much know where I'm going to go and how long the book's going to be. And, yeah. but that mm. comes with, you know time yeah time. Yeah. it's a time thing you yeah. know experience yeah cool. yeah so yeah. I read a really good article that we will link in the show notes and it was from a author called Brandon Cornett or Cornett I'm not sure he hasn't got an e on the end of the double t so I'm thinking it's probably Cornett but he wrote a really good blog post on how to increase your novel's word count and this mm-hmm. is always something that's kind of scared me a little because you don't want one of those ones where 
somebody describes um, their their yard and their grass and it, it's mm-hmm. got, you know, 1,500 words of how the grass is green when it's yeah. actually, you know. Green grass. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> so, but he's actually got some very good tips on, on how to get more for your word count. So, for mm-hmm. example, if you are – of what you're looking to do is say write a 50,000 word romance and you're kind of stuck on the 35, which tends to be me. These are some legit ways. So excuse me turning around again here. But one of the ones he said was add more characters to the story so you can make it kind of longer and more interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, If you've got additional characters, and I think that could work in a small like a cozy mm. mystery or a small town romance where often it's the char- other characters that's mm-hmm. you know yeah. obviously you can't lose sight of you writing a romance of the main couple mm. but they should get the most screen time absolutely mm. but you can have secondary characters in there and those um, secondary characters can actually highlight your main character absolutely um, their yeah, persona they've got to serve and, a purpose. yes you can't just mm. have them telling jokes <laughs> on the side unless well they're better they're better to bring in than just loading information in there like yeah, building information yeah. they're a great way to impart did you know that so yeah. you know and they like, complicate things don't they as yeah well, yes you know? absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. you can have really so good. much fun with secondary characters it's when yeah. they become main characters the trouble starts yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah i think we've all <laughs> often had that all of us, I think, have had that mm, point yeah. where sometimes the secondary character is way it's more pretty cool. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> when so and so getting their own book, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's so good. Um, so another point he said was prolong the build up before the kind of the climax or before mm. the real black moment. So rising action, you know, mm. in the story. Mm. So you want to just, um, He's, what he's saying here is don't add unnecessary fluff, but purposeful scenes and chapters that sweep the reader forward, that kind of stretch out the build up. And I think that's mm. a good one. Um, mm. It's you know we we we've all watched that movie and you know what whatever point you know minute mm. mark it's gonna mm. bad things are gonna happen and it's just sometimes the build up is really what the gives you the greatest payoff for yeah, the yeah. For the resolution yeah. um he uh, said have add challenges and complications and hurdles so he he um lists reading the martian by andy weir which is a great story like highly recommend in like i'm not into science fiction but it's a really 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 good um book also obviously it's a movie as well um and it's basically a series of problems that in the movie Matt Damon solves, but it's told in a sequ- sequential format, so you can add more problems. Yeah. Um, and you know, and, and I think sometimes too, you you can you can have a chapter, and then the ne- next chapter you've kind of moved on from that. But actually, there could be a chapter in there that could be a good segue from one to the other. You know, yes, it could exactly yeah more yeah. information why that's happening or what it's leading up to. Or, yeah. You know. Of, and taking the care and taking the reader kind of deeper into yes. the stuff mm. into the problems you know so mm. we're not we're not so what i'm trying to get what he's conveying what we're conveying here is don't add like if you've got something that's described as blue don't describe it as you know 15 to different 50 shades yeah of blue. yeah don't <laughs> yeah. over complicate it, it's no. actually um yeah you're giving yourself it's some legitimate in the stew mm. not mm. just water mm-hmm. so he's also saying extend the timeline of your novel this strategy overlaps with some of the ones we've already covered by extending the timeline during which the story takes place you're creating space for additional characters complications mm. and events and you're also increasing your word count and making your mm. novel longer so i thought that was a really clever one as well mm-hmm. because you know age-old wisdom start the story where the you know complicate like where the character has to make a decision that's you mm-hmm. know point of conflict kind of thing but but it doesn't mean that the story has to be over and done within two weeks or three weeks or whatever mm, um, yeah. so extend extend the timeline out and this is a little tricky one here explore your character's backstories have you ever felt read a novel where the main character felt flat or one-dimensional more often than not this results from a weak or non-existing backstory so he's saying backstory in this case he's referring to events that take place before the actual story mm-hmm. this is tricky though you have to be where the info dump as wendy's yes. already said on yeah. this one mm-hmm. so substance over fluff i mm, think yeah. should be the mantra here yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and what he's saying is all of these techniques have something in common they make your novel longer by yeah. adding time people or events but mm-hmm. they'll also make it better so you're yeah. not just adding fluff you're not padding it out with weird you know no. trivial kind of 
stuff, but you're making smart strategic choices for a longer story. And I think, you know, that's a bit of an art and a science, isn't yeah. it? In there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what about, do you think it, a genre, it's definitely genre specific, right? Word count quite often, you know, like I think you often said. it is. Yeah. 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 Often it is. Like, I think it would be really hard to make a thriller work. And I mean, there'll be people that will now point out examples of this, but in mm. general, of 35,000 fr- mm. words, for yeah. example, yeah. like a, a novella length. I think, you've got, I think you've got to be very careful about word count create, st- sort of stifling your creativity yes. a little bit. Yeah. Also, it's not the be all and end all, but no. it's, it's something to bear in mind. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, so write the book, and then if you think it needs more, give it a break for a little while, and then go back and re look at it. And I guarantee you'll be able to expand it. You know, yeah. so if you're struggling getting that book to grow, um just put it to one side and just have a little break and then when you come back to it you know you will you will be able to to grow that that book that's what I do anyway for me I think where I've looked where I've struggled I you've it's lacking conflict and I think Mm. no matter what genre you're writing your book has to Mm. is is about conflict and it's Mm. about resolving conflict and I think if you can if you're starting out and you like to have kind of if you're a plotter particularly it has to be kind of laden with conflict in order to to get to a decent word count kind of thing you know um if you're writing a romance novella you've got the central couple and you haven't got really room for anything else but yeah you know yeah, yeah, I, I think you've conflict, got to be conflict, conflict. Yeah, I think you just got to be incredibly careful not to keep checking your word count and not, yeah. you know, if you're writing a book and it's lagging and it's struggling and you're just like, oh, I've got to get to here, I've got to get to here. Yeah. You know, we've all done that. You've got to be really, really careful not to just shove stuff in there like we just talked yeah. about. Yeah. Um, and and we've, we've been all been guilty of that. But mm. I think reader expectation is something you've also got to keep in mind, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah, and I do think there is far more, I mean, this is just my you know having been a reader for you know 40 odd years it's kind of like I think the tolerance for shorter now is more so yeah. where you know yeah. I remember those big doorstopper days of Kathleen yeah. Woodhouse <laughs> and you know Joanne and mm-hmm. Lindsay the big chunky mm-hmm. big chunky novels and and they did seem to when you read your old favorites often they kind of meandered at the yeah. beginning particularly yeah, yeah. and so i think our i think we are now in a place where we used to netflix we used to binge watching we used yeah. to binge yeah. reading mm-hmm. and we want to get in the story and get into the meaty stuff faster we That's are my that sort of society take. now aren't we mm-hmm. like you know, yeah. i wonder if out with our readers if they're, they're looking at books to buy so they're looking on ads or they're just looking on amazon or Barnes and noble or wherever kobo and they they see a book and they quite like the cover and they're quite interested in the blurb do you think that they would just jump ahead and click on it or do you think they would look at word count my gut feel is that writers do but readers probably don't right Right. Um, so it would be after they bought it. I think so. Bought. I mean, you do see some reviews saying, even though in the blurb itself it's described as a short, short and mm. sweet, you know, mm. read or a novella, yeah. or even if it's in the category um, on Amazon, I've put it in the category of, you know, two hour reads or one hour, one hour. People will then say, I, you know, I didn't realize it was a short story, but. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I would never make a decision on one or two reviews, no. And, no. and you can you can have you know literally put it in capital letters, and people still won't see that. So mm. I, I, you know, like I said, I traditionally write long, but I wrote one book that was only fifty eight thousand words, and and I just had no more for it. Um, mm. I could rewrite it now, but I had no more. But I have never had one review comment it's on talked that. Talked about length. Interesting. Yeah. Not one. Because you're still giving them the payoff that they want in the reading. Yeah, and it was the second book in a series, um, you know, and and I've just had, but I have had people say to me when I've written 85, long book. This is a long book, you know, uh, and, but, not, you know, not as a negative, but just no, not as, as a, a negative, yeah. but, you know, mm-hmm. um, yeah, so it's yeah. funny. It's interesting how they notice the length, but not the, the shorter one. I, I found mm-hmm. that very interesting, but yeah. that's just, in my situation yeah no I, um, I actually had a comment from yeah. from a reviewer on amazon who said um uh not your normal cozy or well, not 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 as sh- 
longer than most cozy something like that yes ah, okay yeah. and I was and I was quite surprised because I yeah. didn't think people really no. noticed that kind of thing but mm-hmm. um, mind you some I of these read, uh, readers are prolific eh? yes yes but I would imagine that people would notice if it was short but not so much if it was longer you know mm. Mm. so I think that's a good point though you're saying before Wendy about the shorter book because I think if you're writing a series I would have thought that you'd want to keep a fairly consistent size amongst mm. the series mm. you know whatever it is yeah mm. so with this your was short my, book this was, was that... my first like probably one of the first second third books I'd ever written mm. uh so it was mm. you know um yeah. I, I was sort of quite, quite early in my writing journey mm-hmm. so uh it's a good book but I mean I could I I'm even thinking one day I might rewrite it and add a bit more onto it because I haven't put it into print because it's really a bit small yeah. uh but yeah, I mean, it's interesting. It's the second book in a series. Uh, you know, no one ever comments on it. It's got okay. great reviews. But, you know, I might do. I might might sort of, but... I'm well, not. but my books are in print and they're, and they're only about, you know, my cozies for the most part are only about 55. Yeah, and they're fine. They're a good 60. size. Yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they don't look as tiny. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're average. So just in terms of writing short, so... Yeah. If, uh, and again, this is, I've said it before on here, but if you're somebody like me that's always struggled to actually get to the, the words the end, mm-hmm. then then you know what, just write it as short as it needs to be because yeah. you learn a lot from from going through that whole process. Mm. Um, how can you use, if, you're, if you've got, say, some short stories and things like that, are they kind of wasted? Like, how can you use those? I don't think anything's no. ever wasted. No. They're great. Good for mantra. Days. I like that. That's yeah. Good. But you can you can put them all together in one book if you've got enough of them. Yep. Yeah. And you, you can, can use them. Let yeah. read a magnet. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Bonus bonus stuff to give away. Things, freebies for Christmas, you know. Yeah. Awesome like that. Yeah. And just but, writing a prequel. <clears throat> you know, I've got a prequel for my Lake Howling series. Yes. You know, and and I, I've had a few readers say to me, "Oh, that got me reading the series." You know, wow. just a little lead in, yeah. Um, yeah. for for email, you know, for get your email newsletter going. Mm-hmm. Um, so you like, there's a place for the shorter writing. I think there's a yes. place for it, and especially if you're burnt out. Um, mm, absolutely. Write or a short, maybe write if you a, want to try something new too. Yeah. You know, that could be a way to do it without having a huge investment in time too. Mm-hmm. Although I, I yeah. will say that. You know, sometimes writing a really good short story can be just as difficult and, and absolutely kind of need as just as much brain power as absolutely. writing a longer story mm. because you can't have so. you can't have a lot of extraneous words and and, uh-huh. and, 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 and ex, you know external characters. You just cannot have that secondary mm. character popping in all over the place because you've got to get to the point. And you know, I think novellas are a really good way if if you write a lot uh, for cleansing the palate. I love writing novellas yeah. personally. Mm. Yeah. I don't write them because um, that's not what I'm doing at the moment. But I've, I've written Christmas ones over the time. And I love writing them. I think they're fun. Yeah. Just doing the bonus epilogue sometimes <laughs> oh, is a really yeah. cool thing. So we, at the moment, we're using those as um, as reader magnets as well, just as yeah. a, something different, um, especially uh, when people are um, coming in at a different um, st- uh along your series like they're not coming in at book one they might find your mm-hmm. book on a uh, sale somewhere and they come in at maybe book three or four and yeah. so that's yeah. really really good because it entices them to come onto your newsletter list and then they'll be more inclined to pick up the rest of the series if they really yeah. enjoyed it yeah. Yeah. yeah so so if you're writing epic fantasy say mm-hmm. you couldn't write a fifty-five thousand word book could you well you, well, you could, well, you but could, I think the I think you'd be epic <laughs> exactly. fantasy is epic, yeah. and I don't well, know fantasy how you in would, itself even. Yeah, mm. and I don't know how you would fit what the reader expectations in terms mm. of the worlds and the world building and the mm. systems and the mat- like. I don't, I'm not a reader of it, so there'll be a few. There's fantasies. a lot of words in that, isn't there? There's just, just a lot there. Yeah. yeah, and sagas um, are the same, right? You know, yes. So what I'm trying to get at is there is still that expectation there, even though things have loosened up a lot and we write what we want, et cetera. But in some genres, there is that expectation that when Mm -hmm. you pick up an epic fantasy, Mm. you're going to hit a really big book. Yeah. Uh, Or or, or what else? What other genres? You know, sagas and things like that. Mm -hmm. So thrillers, I would say, probably, do they? Yeah, they They tend to be a bit meatier as well in terms of the word count. Yeah, absolutely. We, We do have a few word counts here that we could probably put in the show notes as well. Yeah. Yeah. At the end. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think the biggest takeaway is that it's not it's not a done deal. 
it's no. not right. this is what it has to be I think it, it, using as I said before using them as a guidelines so okay. anywhere in the middle is fine yeah. anywhere just yeah. over the, the lower point. Uh, yeah that's yeah. fine yeah, yeah. And so for also for shorter writers is a new thing. Now, we don't have access to it here in New Zealand. It's called Kindle Valor, which is a serial. Cool name. Amazon's, yeah, cool name. <laughs> I hope you've trademarked your, your yeah. name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, my, it's my baby, just so you know. <laughs> so, as a side note, it's going to completely screw your um, AMS ads because oh, with the word Valor in there. Yeah, yeah, I, know. yeah, yeah I know. So thanks for that, Amazon. Yeah, cheers. thanks, Amazon. Cheers. Um, Screwing me over again. For, <laughs> so it's only open to um, to writers, and I think it's um, US residents at the moment, and maybe UK and Canada, I think. But anyway, not us, because clearly the rest anything. of the world yeah. doesn't, you know, <clears throat> exist. Sure but us. anyhow, mm. that's just me being. But we're not of, bitter about that. We're not no. bitter at all. But yeah. I love serial fiction, and if you that that's a great way of testing out new ideas or or following down a, a writing. I would say fast hooky fiction and because their word counts uh where are we let me just scroll down here. i don't even know what kindle bella and as soon as i realized that we couldn't have it i didn't even go and look <laughs> no, at it no, like no. how dirty i was on it you know <laughs> like oh exactly. another one you know? exactly. um, so it's a serial is it yeah, yeah. it's serialized yeah. fiction and, and it not something you put to... milk on no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay cool no, it's not. Um, but it's usually between 700 and 2,000 words an episode. So it's yeah. like TV, think of TV episode. Okay. Yeah. There's other there's other apps that um, like Radish and um, I think Wattpad and, you know, anyway. But this, it seems to be a thing. I think it's probably people reading on, you know, on their commute, on their phones. Mm. Yeah. So it's. Oh, it's great. Great yeah, idea. Yeah, it's kind of, anyway, it, but the new Kindle Valor program states between 600 and 5,000 words. So they've got a bit of a longer mm, yeah. longer format, but they tend to be around that 2,000, 2,500 word per episode. And so, you know, that's another option yeah. as well if you're looking to, to really, ex yeah. you know, get the whole writing muscle going mm. as well. Yeah. But on the other end of the scale, if you have... <clears throat> What are the dangers of, or how do you see if you've written too much? Like, do you guys review for too much? Like, as in, mm. and I'm talking about overwriting, yeah. I think, here for the word count. How do you identify? I, I that? think you pick up a lot of that just in edits alone that, right. that you've used, you know, five words when you could have used one. Yeah. I think um, you can you can easily lose a few thousand words just in your first round of your edits, and then certainly in the second you'll pick up some more. So just making it tighter, making the book tighter, will make it a better book. And if yeah. you lose a few thousand words, it's not the end of the world, you know, yeah. if, if it's a big book anyway. Mm. And I think when, when you very first started out, I had a folder and I cut all my words and put them carefully in there and never used them again. So <laughs> what 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 I'm trying to say is... Still do. <laughs> yeah. Cutting words is okay. I, I would probably cut and add 10,000 words easy, minimum, and that's probably more. So uh, like in the last book I just put up, there were two chapters in there that were waffling. Honestly, mm -hmm. just straight mm -hmm. waffle. So that's probably nearly 6,000 words or probably a bit under. And I just was like, oh, this is not moving the book anywhere. Yawn, you know, boom, gone. So I just delete so them. So when you went boom, gone, was that after you'd just written or when you were going through the editing process? When I'm going through the editing process okay. and rewriting the book. Right. Um, and so that's, you know, like if, if I'm reading it and I'm, and I'm, I look at a chapter and I go, okay, what is this chapter doing for this book? Mm nothing yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. absolutely yeah. nothing yeah. there is no reason for this chapter it doesn't heighten any of the tension it doesn't move the characters forward mm. it doesn't have anything towards a resolution but they might have been having a very nice cup of tea they were having a lovely a very cup nice of tea drawing room. you know absolutely yeah. in a drawing room yeah. driving through the countryside looking at the scenery and the cows you know like all great We've stuff all written those things, yeah so I, but yeah. so now i'm at the stage where i can see that and go wow uh -huh. that has got to go mm. Um, so yeah so that comes with experience and maybe yeah. if you don't yeah. have that experience yeah. maybe that's where a good editor will help you yeah. out oh yeah. 
good or beta good, readers yeah, yeah. you've yeah. got to have that you know that's invaluable to be honest but yeah, yeah so I mean I think that's it that's a, with time I mean after however many books you know I've written probably like share with, if you actually went back to our back list that has never seen the light of day and never will we're probably close to 45 50 books that yeah even you more are, you yeah. know yeah. um so yeah I mean I think you you just it's it's a process and people you know people ask you don't you they say how did your writing process work and mm. I'm just like I have no clue like really <laughs> totally clueless but it yeah. happens <laughs> you know I love that. so getting picky on word counts do you guys have a set number of words per chapter that you like to do or is it just what happens um I, to me it's got to be over a thousand um okay. probably closer to 1500 mm -hmm. and then less than three Right. Mm. Less than three would be a chapter Okay, for me. so between yeah. one and 3,000. Yeah, yeah. One, one is really, it just might be a segue from, yeah. you know, moving the character yeah. from one. So mm -hmm. that's that's not usual for me. I have done it, but that's not usual. But 1,500, yes, I, I can cope with that. And then yeah. under three is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seems Originally, right. I was massive. My chapters you, were yours huge. Were huge, huge. Yeah. Now I've cut them right down. So yeah. they were. They, they can be anywhere from eighteen hundred mm. to three thousand. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. that's probably yeah. they, that sweet spot's probably around two, mm. two and a half. That's yeah. probably the sweet yeah. spot for and, a chapter for me. And for me, um, you know how you do like the break between one character's opinion and then another mm -hmm. point of view. Sorry. Um, I, you don't get that in a cozy mystery because you're talking gotcha. about it from one person's point of view. So you don't get that anyway. So that's why you can afford to have a shorter chapter, I think. Yeah. yeah. And also, I think, you know, the head hopping from a mm. point of view, I should say. Mm. Um, I now I'm not bent out of shape if I have to write two chapters in one point in one yes. point of view that doesn't bother me anymore no. uh, the guy's got so something to, to say yeah and I let him say it. be like oh, oh no no no, no she no, just had a chapter, chapter. <laughs> yeah. so now I'm, I'm just like you know if that dude has something to say he needs to say it you know yeah. like yeah. Yeah. get it out there yeah. you know try and, and keep same with a hers. point of view a single point of view per chapter kind yeah. of is yeah. that what you aim yeah. for that's how I, okay. how I how I roll usually. But as I say, quite often it'll be three chapters in one person's point of view. And that's just because she's got a mission that needs mm -hmm. to be, you know, done. And 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 you I, I when I first started doing it like that, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get pushed back, rah, 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 nothing. Nada. No. Look, I tell no. you, if you're writing a good story, you can pretty much just yeah. do what you want. Yeah. Yep. If you're meeting the reader expectations in a 15 book mm. series or a yep. five book series if you're meeting that expectation your reviews will say great story loved it rah 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 and that's all you want you just want that reader experience to be mm. good if you're getting all chapped up because you know you're not the point of view is not right and the mm. chapters you know that's when the trouble starts I believe. yeah, yeah. I agree too yeah. I and agree. it's like and everything with, within self-publishing yeah you know know the guidelines that's a really good thing to do yeah. know the guidelines mm. and then make it your work and 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 there's nothing wrong right you know it's yeah you know, specifically, it's your journey it's, yeah yeah absolutely if your book sells you know. and, I think <laughs> and i think also you know just remember there's readers um of every length kind of mm. thing so yeah. size actually doesn't matter um yes. well to, yeah. a, to, yeah. to, to, to a degree oh and writing um, okay yeah yeah, yeah. And writing yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> Lord, my so, Lord. <laughs> and i also think it's important to point out that trends do change so yeah. like yeah. for example the yeah. reverse harem um kind of trend that came in they were quite big books because mm. that was usually you know one woman and mm -hmm. five guys or four guys and often different points of view and all of, and it was all no actually no that's not true oh yeah maybe it was I don't know but they, that's kind of morphed and they were big like you know but it's things change as well mm. so and I think books have got a little bit shorter some books at some of the genres that have come in have got a bit shorter and Cozy's probably one because mm. people love to just pick it up and read it and get it read yeah you know like it's yeah. a it's yeah. a oh I'm going to read that bit of that put it down yeah. I'm going to read if you're reading uh, you know, um, cross stitch or what was it, yes. what's it called now? Um, oh, Outlander. Outlander. Outlander, you know, like yeah. you know, yeah. you're in for a big that's yeah. a Christmas yeah. read, you know, like yeah. a holiday you're, read. You're not gonna, you're not gonna uh, read that in one sitting, no, probably not. Probably no, it's not. probably gonna take you quite a while, but you know, that's cool. There are times for yeah. those books as well, yeah. Um, yeah. but but yeah, nowadays, I think that you know, especially with KU, you know, that, that yeah. people were just like, boom, read. You know, yeah. read, yeah. read, you know, yeah. that's the generation we are, yeah, absolutely. you know, and I, and I think 
Um, I don't know if you guys got any more last words to say, I but just, I think we're coming say, up on just the. Just from a marketing of, point of view, we just we haven't really gone into pricing as well, and I yeah. think that's another consideration, and that is yeah. something really that you want to do your research on in terms mm-hmm. of what the pricing connected with, with um, word count kind of. Yeah. As long as it fits in with what the um, current, you know, the the best sellers are in your particular subgenre, mm-hmm. I think that go for that guideline. Yeah, but but. I wouldn't price on word count only. So just no. because you've writ- written 50,000 words versus, say, 35,000 words doesn't mm. mean, like, necessarily. It's a 599 book. No, <laughs> no. So don't, I've seen that sort of falsehood around it, but it, it doesn't, you know, and it, as we've already said, you can have a bang on story in that 35 and a, this boring snooze fest in 50. So, you know. Yeah. Do Excellent. not judge a book by a I word add count. Word count, exactly. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice saying like there. That? Yeah. yeah, I did. It was good. It was good. <laughs> so we'll we'll um we'll put anything we yep. talked about in the show notes yeah. and link up, you know, and stuff um, as we do. Uh, yes. Now, if you've got anything you want to add to this conversation, please put it in the show after us. You know, somewhere yeah. comment, comment. The show notes. Um, you know, word reviews. Count woes. Yeah. You know, whatever. Come meet us on Facebook. You know how it works. <laughs> you know, you know by now how we roll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, so we can be found, Shah. Well, surprisingly, we can be found at spagirlspodcast.com and we're on Facebook and we're kind of on Twitter, thanks to Cheryl, who is our Twitterer. Um, and we are Twitter. on YouTube, of course, yeah. at Spagirls yes. Podcast. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You know us. us. We're all Join over us. the place, just spread mm-hmm. everywhere. We are. Yeah. Okay, well, that was really good. And next week we'll have Miss Trudy J back. Play well, with will, we will, we? will we will we maybe who knows, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> you know like she could still be snow in the snow yeah. in front of that yeah. roaring fire drinking you know you know wine. what kids are like these yeah days. <laughs> can't trust them mate can't trust them always out doing stuff all right team uh great all right great, great chat well. with you and we'll talk to you next time bye now bye bye